Hey guys, it's your girl Ty here again, doing a two-week review. It's actually on the third week. We're getting to do it for third week. But, um, yeah, doing a review on the Kima Classic. Okay, it's been two weeks. It looks nice, don't it? All I can say, <clears throat> the only bad thing that I have about this hair, <clears throat> the ends, they look really, really rough. And the bad thing about it is, right before I did this video, I put a little bit of, kind of like some type of shine, like not shine, but moisturizer, I'm sorry. I just wanted you guys to see that. But it was rougher than that. But I wanted to do an update and also to go off with the first video I did. Um, I did do the rise wrong. So this is what the rise, <coughs> excuse me, actually did. I did this with the rise. After doing some time of looking at other people rot their hair, I got it right. Obviously, this is what I wanted. Nice loose curl, the way I wanted it. The flips are the way I wanted it. Um, you guys don't know, but um, if I wear a unit or uh, my um, three fourths week for four weeks, which I usually do, um, I always revamp the or redo the invisible part, like kind of like refresh it and all that good stuff. So, and this time. Because remember on the first video I said I had the Kima Classic one two, um, Harlem 125 on the bottom, 12 and 14, and then the 10 was the um, Premium 2 hair, and the invisible part was the Premium 2 hair. Well, when I redid it, I still had a lot, and when I say a lot, I mean a lot of hair left over, so I decided to put it in the invisible part enclosure. And um, that's why it's looking all nice and well together because it's the all of it is the same hair. But um, I love this hair. I will buy this is a hair for someone that likes to unwrap and go. You can curl it like like I said with that. You can do it with the rods. You can do it with the flat iron or whatever. You can flat iron it bone straight and it'll still look right. Except for the ends. That's the only thing I have a problem with. And oh my gosh. I got to tell you guys. Minimal shedding. I can comb this hair a zillion times. Look, put my fingers through it. Nothing. Nothing. No shedding at all. Okay, it was one little hair. One little hair. I don't know if you guys can see that. One little hair. Out of all this I did. One little hair. Nothing. I'm going to do the other side. Nothing. Nothing. I love that. Oh my gosh, I love that. This hair is very inexpensive. Has a Remy touch to it. I washed it twice already because the first time I messed it up because I had a lot of product in it and I had to wash it. But the second time was because it was the second week and I want to refresh it. Oh my gosh. No shedding. Well, min I can't say no, but minimal shedding. Very minimal shedding. It doesn't smell bad. It 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 acts as if it's new. Look at this. Look at that. I love this. I will buy this hair again. I will suggest it to people who looking for some great cheap hair. Oh my gosh, I'm so in love with this hair. You guys just do not even know I'm in love. Except for that part, which is I don't it don't look bad. Look, it don't look all that bad. Like but, oh my gosh, so in love, so in love, so in flipping love with this hair. <sighs> Curl it how you want to, flatten it, bone straight, have it, oh my gosh. I, I'm so, like, in love with it, I can't even talk right now, guys. I had nothing to write down, because remember last time I said I was going to start writing down from the get-go. Any problems? That was the only problem that I had with this hair. And that's not even a problem to me. You can wrap and go. You can wrap it up, comb it down, and go. I use my flexi rod. I twist this. Twist it. Ooh, I can do it right. Flexi rod it, and I pin curl this. Then I shake it like this in the morning. 
Then I get my paddle brush and brush it some more because sometimes it be looking stiff. But once I paddle brush it, the curls stay. They look so yummy. Yes, I use the word yummy. Oh, I'm so in love with this hair. Again, this is the Kima Classic Harlem 1 to 5 hair. I got this in a 1B30. I will be doing a four week, but it's so good because the last wig, the last installment I did, the three fourths wig, I threw that away only because of the cap. Well, no, not only because, but the hair was was horrible. But this one, I'm going to be, I'm not going to do another review on it, but I'm going to be installing this again for another four weeks, but just in a different way. I'm doing the side part with it next time. So after this week. After, sorry, after next week, which is the fourth week, I'll be taking this out. Um, I'm actually going to be coloring it. I'm not going to keep it this color because, I don't know, but I'm going to take it out, do a side part with it, and just, oh, I love this hair. I love it. Sorry for not looking at you guys, but, oh, I love this hair. I love it. <laughs> But, um, I think that's all I have to say about this hair. This hair is, I love it. I do, that's all I can say is that I love this hair. Um, it's still very soft after, you know, like I said, this is week three. But after two weeks and two days, it's so soft. Look, it goes right through and what non or I, I think it is human. It says it has a remedy touch to it. And it's yakky hair. What yakky hair you know that you can go straight through it. No stop. Straight through it. But anywho, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. And there's not one thing that comes to mind. <sighs> no. I just love this hair. I love it. I love it. I will continue to buy it. I suggest this to everyone who, and no, this is not a quick wig. Like I said, this is a three-fourths wig. It's a sew-in. But this is glue. The invisible part is glue. But I suggest this to everybody, whether quick weave or sew-in. This will last you. Uh, I was going to say if you take care of it, but you honestly don't have to take care of it. I, I But as, as a person... I take care as a stylist or just me in general. I just love taking care of the hair and treating it right. So, you know, I've I got mint. A lot of people say it was good. Sorry, I got some sweating. A lot of people said it was good on YouTube, and I've gotten a lot of good reviews on it. But um, some people said it was bad, but I love this hair. Like, this might be, I ain't going to even gonna say might be. This is my go-to hair. Like... This is my go to hair. But the 14 inch, I'm going to give you the prices. The 14 inch, if I can remember correctly, yes, was $24.99. And like I said, in Orlando, Florida, because I don't know if it's everywhere, but at my beauty supply store called Super Real Depot, they had a sale. I don't know if they still have it, where you buy one and you get one free. So I only paid $24 for both 14 and 12 pack. But I'm give you, they'll give you the individual prices. Uh, like I said, 14 is 24.99. That's not bad. Um, the 12 was 14.99. No, sorry. The 12 was 19.99, and the 10, which I don't have, but I'll, I'll still give you the price, is 14.99. But um, if they, if you have a sale, yeah, 12, 14, and 10. I didn't need all three. I really did not need all three. I thought because, you know, a lot of people on YouTube, because this is like my second time doing a three-fourths wig, especially, well, no, three-fourths wig, period. I can't say on myself, but three-fourths wig, period. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I didn't know how many packs of hair you would need to get the full look. I didn't, I'm, in my opinion, I don't have the full Kim K look because hers is longer, but I have the Kim K look, but just a little shorter. And and I and I love it. I can honestly say I love that because me and long hair don't get along. 
So, and I used to always want long, long luscious hair on my back. The devil is a lie. That shit is a lot to take care of. This 14 inch is a lot to take care of. So, I don't want long hair anymore. <laughs> I want long hair, but this is probably about as much as I want my natural hair to get. No longer. I'm sorry. I can't do it. But, um, let me cut this video short. Um, but again, I want to thank you all for watching my videos. I hope you are learning something from this. Um, if you have any suggestions, please leave them in this, um, not the description box, in my inbox. And if you have any questions, inbox me and I'll answer them in either in a video or to you directly. So, um, thank, like I said again, thank you to all my subscribers. Thank you to the people that are going to subscribe to this video. Um, hope you learned something. Any questions, inbox me. Information will be in the description box below. See you later.